This week the Daily Jaws was in London to attend the press day for The Shark is Broken, the hit play about the making of Jaws co-written by and starring Ian Shaw, son of Jaws actor Robert Shaw. We caught up with Ian to learn more. So I'm Ian Shaw and I'm playing Robert Shaw who, uh, as we all know, played Quint in Jaws in The Shark is Broken. So the three actors, uh, Dreyfus, Scheider and Shaw, are stuck on the orca um, because Bruce, this mechanical shark, is broken because they wanted to film on the ocean. Um, so the salt water presented all sorts of difficulties for the mechanical shark. Um, you know, we've all been through COVID. Um, some of us have been confined with uh, people we didn't necessarily want to be with for 24 hours. This was certainly the case uh, for the shoot of Jaws. So it went for on for months, this. Um, and Shaw and Dreyfus clashed. You know, they were, they were at different stages of their career and they, were, they had different personalities. Um, and I think Shaw felt that Dreyfus was a brash, arrogant, young punk. And, um, and, and I think Richard didn't appreciate Shaw's uh, attitude towards him. Although privately he does say that um, they did get on. So the, the rumor goes that perhaps you know, um, Shaw was doing it to get a better performance out of Dreyfus. Well, I thought it was a really good concept, but I was very reluctant to follow through with the, the, the notes I'd made about it because I tried to avoid association with my dad. Um, but maybe it's the, the, the age I'm at, you know, that I'm, I'm more relaxed about that. I've had my career now, however, however humble. Um, so, you know, I felt more disposed to perhaps do something on the back of being persuaded by my friends and family that it was a really good idea. I think I have, yeah. I think I have. I think I also went through the... I wrote it with Joseph Nixon. It's very important to say that because he sometimes gets forgotten because he doesn't do these interviews. But uh, in writing it, I do think I went through perhaps the last vestiges of grief. Um, you know, reading about him and, and discovering things I didn't know about him. Um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been a really good process. I was very frightened of doing it, but I'm actually, I have to confess I'm enjoying it. There are so many great moments. I mean, you guys, it's, it's almost like with Nell and I or whatever, it's all like quotable throughout. Um, my personal favorite moment, because it shows my father's humor, which we felt that he had in, you know, in real life, that's what we saw, was, was when Dreyfus, uh, when Hooper brings the shark cage along and, um, and Quint says, you know, you're going in the water, sharks in the water, and then he sings, farewell and adieu to you, fair Spanish ladies. I just think that's priceless. I was blown away. I mean, I think um, Duncan Henderson has done uh, tremendous. I was, I was moved. I, that was the thing that nearly made me cry. Was looking at the orca, uh, even in silhouette. You know, it is. Yes, it's, it runs at ninety minutes now. So it was an hour before. Um, so we've put in all the things that we that we that we we actually we've written a new scene, um, but there are, it's a it's a richer play. I think. We dearly hope so. Yeah, it, you know we'll 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 see. But it is selling very well, um, and you don't need to be. I know that you're you're the Daily Jaws, but but also what I think helps is you don't need to have watched Jaws. I think quite a few people have come, haven't seen Jaws, have got a lot out of it, and will probably watch Jaws. So, I don't know, maybe Universal should give us a cut. I just think it's a perfect film. You know, as you guys, you know, uh, you know, there's a reason that, that you, you're running the Daily Jaws, you know, the Spielberg's direction, the, the score is phenomenal. 
um, the editing, Werner Fields, you know, who's an unsung heroine, won the Oscar f for that. Um, the, the fact that, you know, the cinematography is so beautiful. The camera operator was a cinematographer before he, you know, picked up the, that camera. So you had two heads making it look absolutely beautiful there. Um, the fact that they filmed on the ocean, the fact that the shark was broken meant that the actors could improvise and, and work on the script and make it make it even better. There are so many sort of lovely things that sort of coincided to make it what it is. Of course, I would I would love to to, to say a huge thank you to to all the Daily Jaws fans. You know, um, without you guys, uh, you know, it, it probably wouldn't have had a chance to start because we started very small. And it needed the oxygen of, of people um, spreading the word. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Check out the links in the description for our other interviews with the play's set designer, the play's director, the actors playing Roy Scheider and Richard Dreyfus. We also got a sneak peek at the play itself. The Shark is Broken is currently performing at the Ambassador's Theatre in London until January 15th, 2022. Link to buy tickets is in the description. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to know more about Jaws, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and visit our website, thedailyjaws.com. Until next time, we drink to your legs. Farewell and adieu.